Hey everyone, um, back after doing this bit. Now the stuff I did was um, smudged uh, the side of his face so it looks like um, it's been pulled away from him. So if I skip to this bit here, uh, you can get a further in-depth detail um, like this here. Now I haven't done this um, too good this one, um, it's just to show you what um, you got to do and stuff like that. Now you can change and swap all different angles on this so all you have to do is get the smudge tool and as I said push away. Now as I said before if you've got a high definition image like I have here it's going to take a, a little while to render the smudge and stuff like that. Now you can get different strengths of the uh, smudge at the top. Now I've put mine on 72% you can lower it and you can get a better detail because as, as you want to bring the smudge out you want to make sure that it comes into a point so it looks like it's literally falling off his face and being pulled away and stuff so now that we've done that side of things we're going to zoom out and we're going to go and bring um, in the sand layer so we want to go and get our sand layer and drop it onto the image now we just want to cover his face like that and then we want to click the tick icon at the top right hand side to hold it into place now once we've done that we're going to go and press the control key and we're going to hit the um, little image uh, of the face that we selected earlier so we've got three layers at the moment you want to select the middle layer when you do that so you're going to get a rough uh, selection from here which we don't want this side so if we go to the quick selection tool now make sure that you've got the uh, middle layer selected sorry and we're just going to make sure that we've got that on the minus so we deselecting this side that we don't want because all we want selected is the face so let's just go around deselecting this bit like that and just hide that and all we want is that selected now once we've got that selected we're going to re-put that back on make sure that we're on the sand layer and we're going to go to select we're going to go to inverse and from here we're going to go and select the eraser tool and we want to right click on our sand layer and we want to put raster size uh, layer and then we're just going to take away all this sand that we really don't need like here just do this really quickly like so and then we're going to hit ctrl and d to deselect now from here we're going to go down the layer styles we're just going to find one that fits uh, multiply fits now you can try all different techniques on this um, choose what one ever one you want uh, I am just like this one I went uh, all different styles but I think we're going to go for multiply on this looks okay looks good now once you've done this uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate that layer so duplicate that you can do that by either control J or just by dragging it down to the new layer icon and then we're going to go to filter blur motion blur and let's bring the angle now you want the angle depending on your picture mine's going to be uh, zero because it's going to go across ways like that way um, bring the distance also depends on your picture as well mine's going to be set at about 710 so it looks like it's blowing away from his face so it's pulling his face away click OK uh, select the select tool and we're just going to bring that over like there and we're going to duplicate that layer again 
Control and T to free transform. And we're going to put a different angle on this. Right there, and then click that to hold that in place. Now we've got that sorted, we want to go and select both them layers, and we're just going to bring the opacity down a slight tad, a little bit like that. That should do it. So around 86% should do it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the brushes that I said, like the smoke brushes and the other set of brushes that I said. Now we're going to go to our brushes and go and select it. Now I'm going to go all the way down. Now if you're new and you've downloaded the brushes as I said and you don't know how to input them in to Photoshop, you want to click the brush icon yeah, and go to the top and go to this little arrow that points to the side and you want to go all the way down to load brushes and then you want to just find your brushes the brush set that you know that you saved and then double click on it now once you've done that it should be in your layers palette and you can select whichever one you want um, I think I'm going to go for this one so now we're going to make a new layer just in case we make a mistake so I'm going to bring that up a tad that'll do and we're going to uh, hit the brush uh, brush preset sorry now if you can't find this um, panel here you can go to window and hit brush and then you'll find it on the right hand side right here now we're going to change the angle of this brush so just like that 90 degrees depending on your picture and the what way it's turned and the way you want it to blow and stuff like that and we're going to change the color now you want to select along with the sand so uh, when you're changing your color get the pipette tool and select the sa sand blah, sorry sand tongue tied there for a second and we're just gonna go like that keep changing the angle because you don't want it the same otherwise it's gonna look naff so let's get that right oh, a bit too far like there like that and we're gonna change the color one more time to a darker shade. I'm going to make a new layer for this one and change the angle again like that and we're going to hide that preset now if you don't know which brush I have just chose I chose the in the, the smoke brushes sorry uh, I didn't say that before these are the smoke brushes I'm using at the moment and I use the 14901 which is the bottom one and you can basically change and swap all different smoke brushes don't go for the same smoke brush because it'll look a bit weird so keep with that one or go and change so I'm going to just change a little bit make it so this one's going to be the 1091 go to our brush presets we're going to change the angle again like that I'll do that one sorry because that looked a bit weird there we go so it don't look all too uniform and then we're going to hide that one now you can bring the opacity down which I'm going to do to around 93% now these where the other brushes come in so we're going to select our paintbrush tool go back up um, here we go now I'm going to go and select a new layer go to paintbrushes again sorry and just need to find one that I think suits 
bring up a little bit more now this one should be perfect now the one I've chose is the 421 now this ain't on the smoke um, brushes this is on the different brushes um, that I've you know gave to you for you to download so make sure that you load them in as well and that's the 421 and we're going to bring the uh, size of that brush to 2186 pixels now depending on your picture whether it's high definition you want to play around with the size of the brush now I'm going to change the uh, color so we want like a sort of like a dark brown we're going to change and we're just going to hit just there so it looks like little particles of of the sand are flying away like that that's better so once you've done that we're going to go around and make a new blank layer again now around here it's a bit too much light on his uh, jacket and stuff so you know you want it quite dark for this so we're gonna go and put our colors back to normal so black and white and once you've made a new layer we're gonna go and select our paintbrush go back choose a soft paintbrush scale it down to fit like that and we're just gonna paint like that bring the opacity down and we're just going to take the lightness away like that and do the same to his face because there's way too much light on this picture that we don't need and just over the sand as well so it gives that a few little contrasts in color and there you go basically that's the picture finished now as I said you can um, change uh, do this exact same thing as I just did um, to the arms the legs all of the face if you wanted to now also if your eyes are open unlike this image right here if the eyes are open you can uh, change the eye color to like a deep red or something so it goes along with the sand and also um, erase the sand uh, layer just over the eyes so it's not covering it but that's only if you've got your eyes open in your picture which probably most of you have this one I just came across and he didn't so it was okay but um, yeah that's basically what you do now if we went back and I showed you the other images like this one here um, as I said I've done the same with the arm it's basically all of the same just follow the steps and everything's the same and you can create this bit with the arm as well and that's all you have to do um, there is a few other details that you can put in if you so wanted to so let's find the dust layer that we made uh, motion blurred to now if we go to that layer and we zoom in on his face what we're going to do is we're going to which you can you don't have to you're going to duplicate that layer you're going to bring that layer over with the selection tool like that you're going to select the smudge tool and then we're just going to bring just over his face like that to create to create these sort of things right here along his face so it gives it a more dramatized effect so that's the end of the tool and please comment rate, and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye for now